Hi guys, Robert here, back in another video. Um, and it's going to be the second Yu-Gi-Oh! related unboxing of the week. Um, I know what you're thinking. This is not anything, looks anything card related. And you're right to think that. Um, because this is not a card, anything related to cards. This is a book. Uh, yep, so I'm just going to open this up here. And here we go. This is dual art. Uh, Kazuki Takahashi Yugo Illustrations. This here in Japanese. Um, now I did not know that this, this existed. Literally, when I stuck up my video of the Legendary Dex unboxing the other day, and I went to look at it on YouTube itself, and there was a you know down the size it has recommended videos and whatnot, and there was a recommended video saying to watch this. And I'm like, what's that? So I clicked on it and I watched. I'm like. I need that. I need that right now. And I went on Amazon and I went and bought it. And I'm going to show you like what it is. So let's just get the cellophane off this first. Give me these damn cellophane packs. So, dual art. Uh, everything in this book, uh, Kazuki Takahashi actually has drawn and colored himself. Um, now, if you don't know, the original Yu Gi Oh! manga was actually, again, drawn and illustrated by him. Um, and it's just, it's just like a, com a, com uh, a compilation of his artworks. Um, so, on the cover here, we have uh, Yu Gi himself. And we on the back. We have a dem. Uh, so here we go. We've got dual art. There, it's time to duel. The original Yu-Gi-Oh manga, run for 38 volumes, has been adapted into multiple anime television series and spawned one of the most popular trading card games in the world. Dual art collects the fantastic color artwork of series creator Ta Tazuki Kasha Kazuki Takahashi, along with rough concept sketches, tutorials, and an exclusive interview with Takahashi Sensei himself. Uh, made by Udon Entertainment, I don't know. Bridget in Hong Kong. Uh, the Japanese version of this book was actually released back in 2011, believe it or not. Published by 2011. So, when I, when I looked deeper into what this book was, I found out that it was literally released in October of this year. So it took a whole four years to be translated into English. Uh, so we're just gonna crack this open, shall we guys? Um, before I do, I know what the first couple of concept sketches are, so I just want to show you something. If I can find it. Where is it? There it is. Ah. Right, so we are going to open up the book. All right, there we go. And there's a first bit of art here, a big black bit of paper. All right, there we go. So, uh, dual art by. Yeah, what? Well, Okay, so we have a table of contents here. Uh, first section is monster. Dragons, demons, magicians, swordsmen, and even gods. These monsters cover the whole spectrum. As a duelist soldiers, they can portet, portret, portend either destruction or redemption, reflecting the truths of human nature. Okay, here we go. So, the first bits of arts we have are blue eyes and red eyes. And the, what was an interesting thing about this is that the first... I think 11 pictures uh, are from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Anniversary Pack. Um, now I'm hoping this will stay open. Um, um, let's put this duct tape here. There we go. Now this book here. Now I don't, I don't own the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Cards anymore. Uh, but there were two things that I kept from my collection. One was this folder, which is for the holo foils, and one was my actual dueling deck. Um, now when now, the first thing you're going to see here is this thing. This is the Shonen Jump Magazine Anniversary Pack. And I bought this when it first came out. Uh, so we're going to close this now. Put it to the side. Um, and er everything in this pack was uh, alternate artwork for famous cards that already had that. But the artwork was from Kazuki Takahashi. 
himself. So as you're going to see here, we have the blue eyes white dragon, we have the card, and we have the artwork there. And then we have, we have red eyes. Oh mate, these pictures are just amazing. We have red eyes here. You can see that. Dark Magician Girl. Did we have Dark Magician Girl in here? No, no Dark Magician Girl. Oh, that's interesting. That must be because it actually says that this is from the Yugo Anniversary Pack. That must be in a Japanese release, I know. Uh, and then we have another Dark Magician Girl here. Um, now, this is supposed to be what Dark Magician Girl is going to look like in the new movie. We have Buster Blade. Ah, oh, no, Buster Blade isn't here. There he is, Buster Blade. And we have Celtic Guardian. Where's Celtic Guardian? There he is. Celtic Guardian there. And then we have our Summon Skull. Summon Skull there. And we have our Jinzo. And our Jinzo there. And this this card was never ever used in the anime. There we go. Uh, Gaiku Teno Megami. Yep, never ever used. And then the last one is this one. Uh, Shiba Warrior Taro. Now, this isn't out of the art for a card. This card was never released. This is actually genuinely Kazuki Takahashi's dog in real life. And he turned him into a card. Uh, that is a true story. Um, so this is this guy right here. Uh, uh, it's just amazing, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I actually genuinely bought these cards when they first came out. And I've kept in the booster pack, and they're in the art book now, which is amazing. So I'm just going to stick them to one side. Um, here again, we have the Black Magician, which was the Japanese name for him. Of course, we all know him as Dark Magician. And we have Dark Magician Girl. Like I said, these are the cons these are this is what the artwork is supposed to look like for the new movie that's coming out next year. This is what we're looking to see. Uh, so that would be interesting concept. And we've got some interesting concept here. Of, uh, this is Yugi. Uh, and this is Yugi, and this is Yugi's cards. Uh, like you know, from the final duel, this is the Yugi signature cards: Marshmallow, uh, Gadget, Moving Fortress, Gandora, Silent Magician, Silent Swordsman. It was a great piece of artwork there. Um, and then we have like red eyes and blue eyes here. Uh, artwork series, red eyes. And then also we got some again some alternate artwork by. Mr. Takahashi, we've got Obelisk, Obelisk Tormentor, Winged Dragon and Ra, and the next page will be a double spread of Slife of the Sky Dragon. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I bought this. I mean, I, I'm not one for getting like books like this, but when I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, I have to get this. Um, and this is the Edition God Card Fusion. I can't remember her name, but she shows up in the last series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, one of the last episodes to defeat Zork. But... I don't think she was ever ever released in a card. I'm not too sure. I need to look that up. Um, here we go. Future. Uh, the true essence. The true essence of a game reveals the gap between people and their clashing wills. Yu-Gi-Oh never lose. Never loses that essence, even as the story moves through the future and jumps between different worlds, dimensions, and realities. Yep. So uh, now we're going to the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like obviously, you go Five Ds, GX, and uh, Zexal. Uh, so here's a big group shot of all the main protagonists from the four series. Uh, and then we have Jaden here with Yubel. Uh, and Yubel was like the main evil in GX series overall. Well, in the English version it was anyway. Because we never got a series 4 in English. Oh well. Then we've got Yusei here. Um, with his door runner. And then we've got like the 5Ds concept art. You know, Yusei, Akiza, Crow, Jack, Leo and Luna. Very nice. And then we have some Bonds Beyond Time artwork here uh, and here. Oh, this is great. You know, they're just hanging out on Yusei's door runner. It's amazing. 
Then we got some Zexor artwork. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know this guy's name. I know he's... That's Astral. Is that Yuma? I think that might be Yuma. Or is Yuma the main guy in Arc V? I think it's, I think it's Yuma. Oh, man. Uh, we got some more Yuma work. Um, I haven't seen... I've, I feel I've seen like, the first six episodes of Zexor. Uh, but it didn't grip me. I'm going to give it another go when I get the DVD set. Um, yep, so here we go. we got some Zexal here. Uh, oh, it is Yuma. Okay, I was right. Uh, Yuma. And then we've got UC 5Ds and uh, Jane. Oh, we've got the original, original air dates. I'm assuming this is the Japanese air dates. Uh, yeah, because Zexal's literally just stuck, finished airing in the States like last year. So this ran until 2012. Uh, so GX rental 2008, 5D rental 2011, and Zex rental 2012. What's this? Contraposition. For better or worse, fate has a tendency to bring opposing wills together. They clash, they rely on each other, and finally they part ways. This concept of contraposition, where the desperate spirits meet, could be called the cornerstone of Yu-Gi-Oh's world. Oh wow, so uh, yeah, just some uh, great concept artwork here. So obviously, uh, this is the front cover here. We got Yugi and Atem, and then we have Bakura. Oh mate, Bakura, Bakura is amazing. Um, obviously got Bakura and Yami Bakura, or even more evil Bakura maybe perhaps. I don't know. Joey and Yugi. Joey Wheeler was my favorite character in the series throughout. You know, he was the underdog. You just wanted to root for him. I loved his cards. I loved his attitude. The one thing I hated was that he never got a win over Kaiba. Kaiba would always mock him, always beat him down. And Joey would give it back, but he would just never beat Kaiba, which I was really gutted about. And we got some great content up with Kaiba and Mokuba here. And again, some uh, Dark Magician artwork. Yugi. Yugi's. And we have some really gay artwork here of uh, Marek and Yami Marek. Lovely. Um, soul. With a proud sword in their right hand and a shield of spirit in their left, duelists fight to determine their fates. They support each other as friends and oppose each other as rivals. And the never-ending duel ties their very souls together. Okay, what we got here? All right, so we got some Battle City artwork now. This is, oh, this is amazing. Uh, Yugi obviously had the slifer. Uh, that this I love, I love this. You know, it's just like it just embodies like Marek's evil persona with the Winged Dragon of Ra. Oh man, that that there, that, that's amazing. That is beautiful. And then we obviously got Kaiba and Obelisk. Uh, and then we got Bakura here with someone else. I don't know. And here we have the three chosen duelists when it came to uh, the Waking of the Dragons arc. I, I love how Yugi has a curry bow in his hand. Like, you know. Oh, we've got some Mai. Mai and the Cyber Harpy here. Very underrated character. And we've got Pegasus and his uh, Toon cards. And we have Tear the Bikini. Oh. Okay. Ah, the story of Yu-Gi-Oh. It just, uh, this just tells you about, well, well the, uh, all the artwork and what it's associated to. Uh, obviously, this is to do with the manga, uh, which I, I don't read. Uh, memory, okay. Guidance from the Millennium Puzzle brings the two Yugis together. No matter what challenge stand in their way, their strong wills allow them to press on in their quest to discover the Pharaoh's lost name. This is the story of Yu-Gi-Oh. Presented here in a number of representative illustrations, forged through countless meetings and pair partings, those memories will never die. No, they won't, because I still watch it today. Uh, oh, yeah, great concept art of uh, Yugi unlocking the secrets of the Millennium Puzzle. That's great. Um, and then we've got the gang here just hanging out. And like, everyone's just like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Going in separate ways, maybe. Oh, but is there. A Duke. Duke in the back here, just like walking away. Yeah, I'm cool. You know, not... It's great to see them all in different clothing. That's one thing they never did was change their clothes. Uh, what is this? Oh, so that's Taya, clearly. Uh, there's Kaiba here. What is it? Death T. What is this? 
I don't even know what that is. Uh, got Yugi here again. Some more Kaiba. Oh, yeah, this is great. It's from Doors Kingdom. This is when Bakura first showed up and used a Millennium Puzzle and turned everyone into their uh, favourite card. That's great, also. Oh, 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 that's amazing. Oh, wow, some more Doors Kingdom artwork. This is a uh, Yugi vs. Kaiba 2, where Kaiba was going to commit suicide. And uh, obviously we've got the Millennium, Battle of the Millennium, between Pegasus and Yugi. Oh, we've got some Battle City artwork now. Oh, this is great. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The, the uh, Ties of Friendship. Ties of Friendship? Or jo yeah, Joey vs. Yugi episode. Obviously Red Eyes being the main card in that. Uh, American Ishizu. Oh, look, the whole gang's here. Who's this woman? That's Rene. Possible. And then we've got the uh, the Count of the Pharaoh here. We've got uh, King Fief Bakura. And this monster's name escapes me. Diaboros or Diabolos or something like that. Oh, and we got uh, Ancient Seto and the Blue Eyes Girl. We got a Tem versus Zork. Oh wow, this is great. And here we got we got the last, last concept. This is from the final duel when Yugi stepped through the, uh, the the gateway to heaven, I suppose. And here we go. This is like literally the last scene of uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh in the last episode where where the Pharaoh goes through. The gateway to heaven. I'm, I'm going to call it the gateway to heaven. And then he just transforms into the pharaoh. That's great. And here we are. The gang just hanging out. Playing card games. Who are these two kids? I don't even know who these kids are. So, yeah, because Tay actually originally worked here. Um, which is great. Oh, uh, this is great. Like Duke, you've got Tristan, Yugi, and Joey. And Bakura is just like, yeah, I'm with these two random chicks. I don't know. Okay, model. Okay, modified art to get just the perfect composition that involves many steps and results in a large number of sketches. We hope you enjoy these rough sketches or model illustrations. Oh wow! So these are actually like you know his sketch work. Oh, this is amazing. Oh yeah, because he, he did some original sketch work, sketch works for the Bob Bonds Beyond Time storyboard. That's great. Look at that. Yugi and Rivals, Joey Wheeler, oh, look at this man. Kaiba and Bakura, Marek, Ishizu, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, obviously always a fan favourite. Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, God Cards, oh man, this is amazing stuff. You go GX character designs. Who we got here? We got Jesse. Who we got? Uh, Professor Viper, Adrian Gecko, Marcel. Wow. GX monster designs. Five D's character designs. Okay, you say. Luna and Leo. Wow, different head designs here. Jack, Akiza, Crow, Crow. Five these monster cards. Oh wow! Look, with their door runners, Dream fairy dragon. Five these background. This is an amazing book. Unused designs. Wow. Oh wow! Crow generally looks a lot different. Look at that. That's insane. Zexel designs. Again, like I said, I haven't watched any Zexel. So I've got no clue. Zexel dual images. Wow, man. Origin. Of all the illustrations from the serialization period, these are truly the shining gems. They bring back memories of Yu-Gi-Oh's early stories. These dual art origin pieces were done in full color and with different techniques than the more recent art. Okay. 
Oh wow, yeah, so this is like this is like season zero stuff. This is like you know the early manga covers. Back in like 96. This is amazing. Wow. Creation. Kazuki Takahashi himself explains the creation process behind his dual art. He also, speaks with, he also speaks with us about everything from the time he picked up drawing to the advent of his life's work. The techniques and the history behind the creation of dual art are laid bare here. Also, he's like rough. He gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how he draws. That's great. Finished product. Look at that. And then into Kazuki Takashi himself. Wow. Definitely going to read that at some point. And then we have a uh, creator comment on every piece of work. Right, what does this have of this? Uh, I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one. Uh, the four protagonists in one big group shot. The youngest, Yuma, is set of protected and surrounded by his elders. I feel like each of them really has his own distinct personality. That's true. Oh, I've got a letter from Kazuki Takashi himself. It's already been seven whole years since serialization ended, and now we've finally got a book with all these illustrations. Nothing makes me happier, happier than thinking of all the fans who support Yu-Gi-Oh! getting to relive their memories of the series through the characters in this book. I only hope to continue improving so I can keep creating work that I'm proud to call dual art. Thank you so much. Kazuki Takahashi, November 3rd, 2011. Oh, wow, this is the original letter here, and this is a picture of his dog. Look at that. And there we go, we've got some uh, credits here, and yeah. Wow. So that's it, that's dual art. Mate, there is some artwork in here that is absolutely superb. Um, uh, this cost me 20, 21 pounds, uh, which I bought straight away. I was like, I have to have this book. How can I not have this book? Um, so yeah, I, again, so I hope you I hope you enjoy my second Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, unboxing for the week. Um, I don't think that there's not going to be any more Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff coming up in a while anyway. Because uh, obviously I don't buy the cards. Uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoy this video. Keep uh, those pages. Um, and yeah, later people.